So before we start the video, I just want to say like the video and subscribe because we are on 380 subscribers and we're 20 subs away from 400. So please like and subscribe so we can hit our target before the end of the year. But anyways, like I said on the poll, I was going to do training and it is it, it, uh. it is it we're going to do train news and if you uh, um, a subscriber back then with my Enzo Sprotter account well um, I did this and it was a big fail because I literally didn't know anything about that I do now so yeah let's get on to the news this is where um, I talk about the railway latest headlines in the UK and Scott so let's get into the first headline shall we Trains between Northampton and London halt due to the fact that there's overhead lined problems. Oh, what's up with overhead wires problems these days? Like, oh, speaking of overhead wires, um, trains on East Coast Mail Line are delayed due to the fact of overhead wires um, overheating. This means that services to between um, Grantham and Peterborough are delayed due to the fact that the red hires have been damaged. But Hall trains have cancelled their service and Grand Central. Uh, Lumo has expected to um, delay some of their service, but their service will be busy. This will affect the rail line, of course. Well, in the UK, rail delays payouts hit the record highest after rise risen in the train cancellations. What I mean is this is the probably the world record, well, railways have record in the UK um, highest delays. So this basically means that a lot of trains have been delayed over the past weeks and it's hit the record of that. Well, that is interesting. Rail fares in the UK will be risen up by 4.9% in March. Wow. Why? Well, the Elizabeth Lime is not meeting the high standards. What? Well, the rail line between tra transport for London, TfL Rail, has basically been criticised about the amount of delays and cancellations. It comes as some passengers were standard for more than three hours on the line last weekend after overhead power cable were damaged. Tuff L and North Network Rail apologised to passengers and said they were both reviewing the incident. Well, this this is not putting a um, good impression on the um, train lines in the UK. Well, guys, the positive news is there will be a new rail line that is currently being constructed, which is called the East West Rail Line. Well, this service will um, basically will be built by Shelford, which will be diverting to the line to Foxton, which will make a new rail line to Camburn, which will be on the screen. And it should be diverting towards St. Notes, going there and connected to the line to Tempsford, if I pronounce that correctly, then go diverting all the way up to Bedford. And then, of course, of the old stops from uh, the um, East Midland Rail Line. But this should be interesting. It should be opening in 2025, apparently. All right, guys, after Bedford, so the line will go up towards Bletchley, near Milton Key Central, and then one of the line, part of the line, will terminate at Elsley Bury, if I can pronounce that correctly. And then one part of the line will uh, go towards Oxford, but well, the rest of the line will terminate at Oxford, or some of the line will actually um, go towards Reading or London Paddington, apparently, which one of the lines which is going to be running this, well, one of the trains will be running this. And we got word that Chilton Railways will be um, operating on this line from uh, Oxford to Milton Keynes Central via Bletchley, which will run the first phase. This will mean that by 2025 to 2026, these trains will be operating with the class 168 and maybe the 68 if it don't get replaced or withdrawn out of service. 
East West Main Line will have 35 stations in between it so this will mean there will be a lot of stops in between it and it will actually take quite like a, quite a while to get to the stations I believe but I don't know the speed limit of it but it will more likely be like 75 to 80 miles an hour but but section of the line will actually be electrified but some parts will just remain on diesel but then all of a sudden uh, some parts of the line will be electrified soon enough this will allow electric trains such as you know like the class 350 or something like that will be electrified which there shouldn't be really be delays on that Grantham Davis head of NAO set, did say the rational for East West Rail rests on its wider strategic aims of increased economic growth in the Oxford to Cambridge region to maximum the eco economics benefits from its investment in the East West Rail government must ensure stronger strategic Stratelic algenement between department and with wider local growth interface so that there is a shared current vision for the future of the region and the construction that the East West Rail project, project will make it is clear. Well, that was something I needed to do. Well, I'm not doing a video on that, but in other words, that they're building this for more passenger use to get to more locations. And so it's much more easier to travel from Cambridge to, let's say, Bedford, which is really good, to be fair. Let's hope there's no delays. Eurostar services in the, for the English Channel is delayed and cancelled, basically cancelled. This is due to the fact that there is um, some strike action going on. So that means people going to either London to Amsterdam or something like that will be cancelled. Also, speaking of Eurostar, Eurostar will not be allowing services going towards Paris. So this means that no train from Eurostar will go towards Paris no more. Which, that's, there's not much information about this. And there's some sad news that the class 319 for London Northwestern Railway will be coming out of service. Now these trains are willing to be replaced by the class 730 units. Of course the new 730 which will be on the screen and also be in the clip soon. But um, these uh, class 319 uh, operators had came into service London North West Railway in 2015 just to allow services between Watford Junction and St Albans and the West Coast Main Line of course from London Newston to um, Tring and a bit of Milton Keynes Central and used to operate to, uh, towards to Northampton which these service um, will be at the final or last operation on the 27th of November which we are past so these trains are going and going to be scrapped which the class the slowly the class 730 will be rolling in oh this is sad what's the sound class 730 um some of the class 730 are um on operation from london newston to tring well this means you'll basically be seeing it of course and it's of course going to be operating from London Newton to Birmingham New Street soon enough. With 100 new trains that will cost £680 million. 81 EM News were operated from Bombardier Transportation from its Aventurum products range. Which these apparently were supposed to be completed in September 2020. Which most of them are in testing, which most of them are in testing from Staff Stafford to uh, either London Newston or via Birmingham New Street. So you're basically basically seeing it. And these 730 are actually going to um, replace the class 350 slash 2. So the 350 slash 2 will be replaced by the 730 for Westminster Railway. So the class 350 slash 2 will either be operating with Trans Pennine Express to allow its service. Actually, speaking of Transpennine Express, there's another error that the class, I think it's the Nova 3, 
yes, the number three, 5A, will be um, out of service. Yes, you're wondering, why the what are these new trains coming out of service when they just, they were built in 2019? This is due to the fact there's cracks in the train. TPE, known as TransPennine Express, has confirmed the presence of these cracks. Fleet Safety and Service di Delivering Director Paul Staples said during route inspection, a small number of cracks were discovered onto these carriage. Used parts of our Nova 3 trains and though set has developed a similar crack since then. So this means this is not because of the loud train during the neighborhood, because I know that Chilton Railways has been running on the main line for years and it still hasn't been replaced. But this is just the fact there's cracks in one of these sets. This, these, these might be same as the IET cracks, if you remember back then in 2021 to 2022, there were cracks on one of the sets on LNER sets. So this would mean that the IETs would, wasn't allowed to run. This could be the same thing and it may, maybe means that this will be replaced, of course, by the 185. Now these trains were supposed to replace the class 185s. Well, these trains are going and the 185 are taking over. Yeah, it's sad to see this train go. Well, do you remember the class 150 for London North Western Railway? Well, they're back in service. Yes, guys. The service is from Marston Valley, linking, of course, Bedford to Bletchley. It's now reopened with the Class 150 operating it. Of course, the mainline value runs for, through Bedfordshire and Buckinghamshire, linking Bedford and Bletchley, and serving 10 stations in between. Four services will run in each direction from Monday to Friday, focusing on the morning and afternoon peak periods. Now, some people have comments saying now they can get home much earlier and don't have to get up much more earlier, so they don't have to like go on the replacement buses and that. But this is really good for London North Western Railway because this in the London North Western delivery actually quite looks nice. But which one do you prefer? The old London North Western Railway or the new London North Western Railway livery for the past 150? Comment down below and just let me know. Gaffwick Airport revamped railway station has opening passenger service. Well, what I mean by that is the Gaffwick Airport has been upgraded. Like the whole station has been upgraded. Well, this cost the rail operator, of course, £249 million upgrades, including a new concourse and airport entrance, as well as a remodelled track. Transport Secretary Mark Harper previously said the upgrade which began in 2020 would see, would see the station become an impressive ga gateway. According to Network Rail, more than 21 million people used the station in 2019, more than in what it was designed for. So this would basically mean that due to the fact it was so busy and the fact that people used that Gaffwick Airport, which would mean that it was necessary to do an actual good upgrade on it, which looks really nice to be fair. Better than the old Gaffwick Airport, don't you think? Well, there's more rail disruption after overhead wires damage again what is going on like i've never seen so many rail operators cancel due to that overhead wires overheating what's going on that is strange like seriously overhead wires damaged wow for so many operators well what will happen to crew because the hs2 is cancelled what would happen? Well, the locomotive were built there and its station is still a key transport hub, both for passengers and freight services. It was set to be one of the big winners from the HS2 expansion to Manchester, being one of the major stations of the line. Thousands of jobs and homes were expected from the regeneration the scheme would 
have bought. The local authority kept, I don't know what that says. East Council spent millions of prepared preparation work for survival. But it's been cancelled because of the Birmingham to Manchester. Well, Birmingham to London, Newston, or whatever they're going to name the station for. Because they were supposed to have two phase, well, three phase now. One from Birmingham to London, taking donkey years. Um, Birmingham to Manchester, donkey years. And then Birmingham to, um, no, it was Manchester to um, Scotland. But you can't have anything because who thought it was a good idea just to spend a lot of money on just the HS2? But whenever, um, they could have just done it in all, like, like the whole thing at once if they actually did it properly. But they didn't. You can't have spend anything, right? In the UK. The Tarka rail line has broken all of its passengers' records by seeing more than 800,000 journeys in one year. Well, that is actually really impressive. I'll never expect that from Tarka rail line. Well, North Devon train line operated by Great Western Railway, known as DWR, goes from Exeter to Barnes Stable, if I pronounce that correctly. But this is probably one of the highest growth in the UK because 800,000 in just one year is actually quite impressive if you think about it. In just like a small town area as well. Well, that's it from me because there's no more news left really from nowards. But yeah, if you want to see more of this series, then like the videos and subscribe because it's really, it would really help and stuff like that and if you want more content like this then like and subscribe please but yeah thank you guys for watching and yeah I'll do more of this series and just remember when i said a banshee is close to never being a crash well well uh banshee had about a virgin has but yeah get what i mean but it talks about about banshee is close isn't unreliable which that could be for another video but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, like, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.